Welcome to the third episode of Flow's Fundamentals. In this episode, we will be covering the essential rules needed to play with a Killer Bunny's Red Booster deck. First, I'd like to go over the Rooney's Weapon Emporium, the new shop included in the Red Booster. It provides two things to purchase, defense cards and weapons. Let's cover weapons first. From now on, after a weapon is discarded, set aside in a separate pile because players will be able to purchase it back. So during the player's turn, they can spend dollar equal to the weapon level to purchase the weapon. The weapon goes directly into their hand, and then that player may discard an excess card. Next, let's cover defense cards. Defense cards are used to defend against weapons. So let's look at an example. In this example, one player has three bunnies and 14 defense units. Another player has one bunny and five defense units. And there is a nuclear warhead being played. To use defense, you must use defense units equal to or greater than the original weapon level. And when you do that, all of your bunnies are completely protected by the weapon. There is no dice roll involved. The opponent's bunnies are not protected unless they use their own defense cards. Very importantly, less units cannot be used to partially protect bunnies. Defense cards are not like clovers, so you cannot reduce the weapon level. You have to completely eliminate it. So in this case, the second player does not have sufficient defense units to defend against the weapon. No change is given for extra units spent. So notice I had to spend 14 defense units. I do not get two defense units back. So quite simply, my bunnies were protected and my opponents were not because I had the defense units. I won't get into their abilities in detail, but keep in mind that one of the iconic mechanics of the Red Booster is these Red Bunnies that each have their own special ability, so make sure to watch out for them. Let's discuss Barriers. Barriers have two interactions. The first is with ranged weapons. Let's take this example. A stray asteroid is being played on this player who has four bunnies enclosed between two barriers. The barriers will stop the range of the weapon. So in this example, the stray asteroid would normally have a range of three. However, when you encounter a barrier when counting spaces, you must stop and any further bunnies will not be affected. Note that if either of these barriers were missing, that green sinister bunny would be within range on the side without the barrier. The second interaction with barriers is with roaming reds. Let's take the iconic Cyber Bunny, for example. Cyber Bunny roams clockwise once per round. However, there's a barrier in his way this turn. When he encounters the barrier, he will reverse direction. And if that bunny had survived, he will actually attack the same bunny two consecutive rounds. In further turns, he will be moving in a counterclockwise direction, unless he encounters a second barrier. This has been episode 3 of Flow's Fundamentals, covering the essential rules of the Red Booster. And as always, Jeff Bless.